Hey, yeah, what's going on? Doing part two on this little automation thing. Old controllers stuffed. As you can see, we still got lights on. That's the whole point of me design. I originally was going to use these little suckers, but they're they're too chunky. So I've gone for a slimmer line approach. Got to make this thing fit in here. Now I'll show you. There's a few different controllers I've been looking at. So I was looking at um, homebrew sort of setup where we have um, same sort of thing as multiplex chip. Just all in little combined like this. And then we have a couple of little RJ45s coming out. Uh, similar sort of design, except it's gonna have a little battery backup. I'm still gonna use this this design. This is um, Sion's chip, unexpected maker's chip. So I, I still plan on using this because I, got, I still got to get some mod bus wires in here. Still a couple more, but I just want to get this thing done tonight. Because what else has changed is I've got a shed mate now. So it's not like I can just turn the lights off and fuck around with it for a few days. I have to, when I change it, it's got to change it so that it's uh, done right. Anyway, these are the little DIY plans for my controllers that I was going to do from scratch. So I've waffled on and off. I'll just show you what I plan on just plonking in today. So I've had on my bench at the moment, it's, it's, it's basically initially what I had designed originally, except we're just using shift registers here. There's no mod bus on this, but yeah, not, there's nothing really special about it. Just use ES, ESP home. The other one that I wanted to put in, which, which is a which is just a plan. Uh, King Connie does does one as well, but this one here's got, you know, you got different I/O inputs. Not that I need them, but you got your. We can do two-way switching here. It's also got Ethernet as well as Modbus as well. So that's that's the future plan. Otherwise, I'll make it one myself. Anyway. Let's uh let's make some room and make the magic happen, eh? Okay, let's try this again. So just between neutral or the actives. Clickety click. So we know this all we shouldn't need to touch all this shit, basically is what I'm trying to say to you. <laughs> you would not believe it, it fits to like to the mill. So basically, I just got to rewire this I.O. up to here. I know, I know it's a fucking overkill. I'm putting relays into other relays, but hey, this thing ain't planned. I don't plan on this thing dying any time soon. Other two thing, I'm going to run another mod bus cable. But this won't be staying here, and I don't think this is going to be staying here. Eventually, this is probably be... One sort of little unit like that. We didn't need to make it this big, in all honesty. Okay, I'm just going to do my commons now. Now, to explain it to you, because this is like one I.O. input, I'm also going to have another I.O. input, whether it be a mod bus or a RF controller. But I'm probably just going to use one of these. This one's got a little battery backup, you see. So then I can still use the mechanical switches. I can also have IEO switches, and then I could also have digital switches that we can use on the computer. So there's really no stone unturned here. So radio on the computer, as well as mechanical switches. All right, let's wire it up. The first time powered up, it's gonna plonk the fuse in. If it goes down this way. Hey, we got lights on. And I just heard a click. I just reset it. Just to confirm. I've actually got my mod bus in here at the moment so we can actually see what power is being used. Generally, these are the relays that do all the action though. And I'm just gonna hop on the computer now. We'll see if we see anything. 